What's up everybody, Mr. K here with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about dividing fractions using what I call the butterfly method. All right, here we have two fractions, three fifths divided by four eighths. Uh, so we're gonna start with, basically we're gonna draw a butterfly. We're gonna connect the opposite numerator with the opposite denominator. So three and eight will connect. And then we're gonna connect four and five. Reason why it's called the butterfly method, because once you draw it, it looks like a butterfly or a butterfly bandage as well. So now we got three times eight, which is 24. And then we have five times four, which is 20. All right, so anytime you're doing this, your number is gonna go above the natural numerator. So three times eight, my 24 goes there. Four times five, my 20 goes here. So now let's put it together. This product always goes as your numerator. Numerator is your top number of the fraction. This becomes your denominator, which is the bottom number of your fraction. So now I have 20 over 24 as my fraction. Anytime your top number, which is your numerator, is bigger than your bottom number, your denominator, that's called an improper fraction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. And we do that by simply dividing our bottom into our top. So in reality, this will become one and four over 20. 20 can fit into 24 one whole time. And then you have four left over. That's where the numerator comes from. So now, we got to see this can be reduced. Four and 20 share a greatest common factor of four. So I'm going to divide both parts by four. My whole number, I keep the same. I don't make any changes to that. Four divided by four gives me one. 20 divided by four gives me five. So now I can say that three-fifths divided by four-eighths will equal one and one-fifth as my answer. If I am doing it on calculator, I do the following. Always clear your memory by pressing your memory. You're on and off and you're clear at the same time. All right, so I have three, numerator, five, and then I have divided by four, numerator, eight. That's how you put fractions inside the calculator. You hit enter. And once again, you get one and four over 20. To simplify that, you simply hit this SIMP button. Then you hit enter again. And you keep simplifying until you get the same answer twice. So once again, I got here what I have as my answer choice, which is one and one fifth. Also a quick rule to remember, if one is ever your numerator as your top number, one cannot be simplified no smaller than one. All right, so if one is ever your numerator, that means you cannot be simplified anymore. So in other words, three fifths divided by four eighths would give me the answer of one and one fifth. Let's try another problem. Let's go with two thirds divided by one half. Once again, we're gonna butterfly multiply. That means our opposite numerator will multiply against our opposite denominator. In this case, two times two is four. Three times one is three. As always, this product becomes your numerator. This product becomes your denominator. We have an improper fraction again because our numerator is bigger than our denominator. So we're gonna turn this into a mixed number by simply dividing our denominator into our numerator. Three can go into four one whole time. There's one left over, which becomes your numerator. And then three still stays your denominator. So my answer to two thirds divided by one half is one and one third. 
And like always, we're going to check our work. Always remember to clear your memory and go to numerator three divided by one numerator two. Hit enter. And once again, you get one and one third. This will make sure we have it in the simplest form. We're going to hit simplify right here. And you're going to hit enter. And we give us a one and one third still lets us know that's the simplest form. All right. As always, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Hope you're able to learn something. Hope you're able to get better at this craft. As always, thanks for tuning in. And you guys take care until next time.